In this video, we tour the fastest selling neighborhood in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. If you're in the market for a new home, then you're in luck because this neighborhood is selling like hotcakes. But what makes this neighborhood so special? Is it the breathtaking architecture, a vibrant community, or maybe the proximity to all the best local hotspots? Well, you're about to find out. So buckle up and join us on a tour of the hottest neighborhood in town. I consider this neighborhood north of 42nd Kennedy neighborhood. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about the great state of Iowa, and more specifically, living in Cedar Rapids, Iowa and surrounding areas, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about this current market in Cedar Rapids. My name's Tony Lucan and my wife Anna is my business partner and we get calls, texts all the time. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in 10 days or 100 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or email. This is all in the description below. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Let's start on the west side of the neighborhood. We are dividing this neighborhood by Wenig Road. On the west side of this neighborhood, you find the quote unquote affordable side of the neighborhood with homes selling in the past 180 days, ranging anywhere from 106,000 to 228,500. Last year, we had a listing on this side of the neighborhood and did an open house. We had tons of activity and the thing we learned is how great the current people living in this neighborhood are. They're super friendly and caring. They couldn't say enough great things about their neighborhood. Getting back to the numbers on the neighborhood and why it's the fastest selling neighborhood is because the average days on market that wasn't a fixer upper in the last three months is a whopping 11 days only. Any home that is well done and well finished and really well taken care of isn't lasting past a weekend right now in this market. Now let's pivot and talk about the surrounding areas, activities, roads, shopping, golf courses, and much more. First, let's start with the layout of the neighborhood. On the west end, you have single family homes built from 1965 all the way to 1994, with many of them being split foyers and ranches. In a few split levels and two stories scattered in between with most of the two story homes further east on Coventry Lane and Lancaster Drive. The square foot of these homes range from 882 square foot all the way to 3,145 square feet. You also have condos near Wenick Road that are similar in two stories. This neighborhood has a little of everything for you. On the east end of the neighborhood, you have only a few condos that are on the far east side that are all ranch style condos. The prices of these condos are anywhere from 167,000 all the way up to 233,000. Then the single family homes are very original and unique. Many people love these homes on this side as you won't find them anywhere else in Cedar Rapids. The styles of these homes are ranches, split foyers, contemporary homes, two stories, raised ranches and split levels. Prices vary from 155,000 all the way up to $335,000 recently. What you will notice is on the east end, you have more trees and much more diverse houses, making this area very attractive to first time home buyers and downsizers. Now let's talk about the roads. The feeder road to this neighborhood is 42nd Street. This street connects you to Edgewood Road on the west end and Highway 380 on the east end, making this neighborhood awesome for convenience to shopping, entertainment, and access to getting out of town. Then we have to talk about the school position in the middle of this neighborhood, and that is Kennedy High School. Serving students in grades nine through 12, the school is known for its strong academic programs, including advancement placement and international baccalaureate courses, as well as a variety of extracurricular activities such as athletics, performing arts and clubs. The school's campus is situated on a sprawling 60 acre site that features state of the art facilities, including performance arts center, a modern athletic complex and a student center with diverse student body and a commitment to academic excellence. Kennedy High School is a top choice for families looking for a quality education in the Cedar Rapids area. What local attractions are near? 
Let's start with the golf course just west of the neighborhood. The golf course is called Twins Pines Golf Course. Twins Pines Golf Course is a nine hole public golf course. The course offers a challenging yet enjoyable golfing experience for players of all skill levels with its lush fairways, rolling hills, and picturesque landscape. The course also features a driving range, putting green, and a pro shop where visitors can rent golf equipment and purchase supplies. It also has an awesome mini golf course that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. In addition to golfing, Twin Pines also hosts a variety of events and tournaments throughout the year, making it a popular destination for both locals and visitors alike. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, Twin Pines Golf Course is a must visit destination for golf enthusiasts in the Cedar Rapids area. Let's talk about shopping in the area. If you go east to 380 and go on Blairs Ferry Road, you have a plethora of shopping, ranging from larger name brand stores of Walmart, Target, Lowe's and Sam's Club, and even Aldi's. Then we get to restaurants and eateries, 30 Hop, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, Buffalo Wild Wings, Delicacy, Bop's Pizza, and much more. For gym enthusiasts, Blair's Ferry Road has iGym, Anytime Fitness, and Feral Extreme Body Shaping. If you go west on 42nd, you will run into Edgewood Road, where there is even more shopping with Hy-Vee, Fleet Farm, eateries of Jersey Mike's, Subs, Zeppelin's Bar and Grill, La Catina, and much more. This area also has a gym called Fountains Express Fitness Center. Then last, we'll go east on 42nd Street to Center Point Road where there is shopping at Ace Hardware, Hy-Vee, New Pioneer, CVS, and more restaurants to check out Taj Mahal Cuisine of India, O's Grill, Parlor City, Ice Cream, and much more. As you can tell, you won't run out of things to do in the area. Also, we, you can't forget about the local parks nearby of Knoll Ridge Park, Pierce Park, Twin Pines, Splash Pad, and Kenwood Park. Also in close proximity is the Cedar River Trail that attracts bicycle enthusiasts, runners, and people who just wanna take a walk. Now last, I wanna take you on a little bit more of a tour of the east end of the neighborhood as I think it deserves to be highlighted. The thing I love about this side of the neighborhood is the trees and homes. Some of these trees are older than the homes are, and the homes are not brand new. These trees are some of the toughest around as the derecho a few years back took down many, but many are still standing. This area makes it feel like you're not in a city, but you still have all the amenities at your fingertips. This neighborhood has so much to offer and the people in this neighborhood love it here. If you have any questions about this neighborhood, reach out and leave a comment below. Also, if you'd like another neighborhood highlighted in the Cedar Rapids area, please comment below as we love making videos for our viewers. And as always, have a great rest of the year and we'll see you on the next video, guys.